Unlike your average superhero, Angel's powers seem to be divinely inspired, drawing parallels with the concept of angels. As one of the original X-Men, Angel's angelic abilities have always been a subject of intrigue for X-Men enthusiasts. From his debut as a founding member to his incredible powers of healing and resurrection, Angel is like the alternate version of Nightcrawler. But instead of being associated with the devil, Angel is the epitome of heavenly grace. Born with a legitimate golden spoon, Warren was the heir to worthy an empire before he chose to forsake all luxuries to become the ultimate avenging angel. His journey of transforming into an archangel was truly a canon event in the X-Men Chronicles. In this video, we will delve into the awe-inspiring anatomy of this mutant hero. Is Warren Kenneth Worthington III the closest thing to a celestial wonder a mutant will ever come to? Without further ado, let's find out. Now, just before we go into our video, we have a very small request. If you like our content, please support us by subscribing to our channel. It's just a small Small click for you, but for us, it means a lot. Thank you. Now let's begin. Who is Archangel? Warren Worthington III had a life that seemed destined for greatness right from the start. Born into an affluent Worthington family, Warren was not just blessed with wealth, but also with natural talent and charm. As a young boy, he had a natural flair for everything he tried his hands on, to a point that his peers started calling him the Little Angel. However, Warren's obsession with the sky and birds often made him the odd one out in social gatherings, much to the frustration of his father. Warren's infatuation with heights took a thrilling turn when he started climbing trees, much to the concern of his parents. He was eventually enrolled in the prestigious Fairburn Boys School, where his academic excellence continued to shine and he discovered his ability to effortlessly attract women with his dancing skills and fleet moves. But Warren's life took a dramatic turn as he transitioned to St. Joe's Catholic School, where his mutant abilities began to manifest. Strange bruises appeared on his back, causing Warren to believe he was dying. The mystery surrounding Warren's condition deepened when he woke up one morning to find a feather in his bed. As his wings began to grow, Warren's relationship with his girlfriend, Amanda Cobb, deteriorated and he ended things abruptly without explanation. Amanda quickly moved on to Warren's friend, Brandon Hardy. Adding to Warren's internal turmoil, seeking answers, Warren delved into the study of birds and molting patterns. Warren's wings continued to grow, becoming harder to conceal, prompting him to quit all school athletics and focus on keeping his mutation a secret. But destiny had bigger plans for Warren. When a fire broke out at the school dormitories, he could not resist taking action. Donning his makeshift angelic costume, Warren saved lives and caught the attention of Cameron Hodge, who would become a significant figure in his life. Amanda and Brandon eventually discovered Warren's wings while Warren himself received telepathic warnings from Charles Xavier, a mutant and founder of the X-Men, about an impending risk. Unbeknownst to Warren, a religious zealot was targeting mutants with his captive, a precognitive mutant named Mary Margaret. The revelation of Warren's powers led to a confrontation with their attacker, culminating in a fatal fall from the sky. Despite the ordeal, the guidance of Mary Margaret's letters hinting at his future destiny helped him emerge victorious out of this adversity and solidified his determination to become a great hero. He adopted the mantle of the Avenging Angel, fighting crime in New York City. It was during this time that Xavier and the X-Men reached out to recruit him, eventually convincing Warren to join their cause for a world where mutants and humans coexisted peacefully. How does Angel transform into Archangel? Angel's transformation into Archangel occurred as a result of a traumatic mutant massacre where Angel and the X-Men's X-Factor team were involved in a battle against the Marauders, a group of mutant hunting villains. During the conflict, Angel was severely injured by the Marauder known as Harpoon, who impaled his magnificent wings with his energy spears, leaving him pinned to a wall and causing significant damage. After the battle, Angel was deeply depressed. He believed he had lost everything that made him who he was. Consumed by an identity crisis and despair, he crashed his personal jet in what appeared to be the result of a sabotage job by Cameron Hodge, who then proceeded to completely amputate his wings while Angel was in a coma. Post this, he was driven to take his own life after realising his uselessness as a mutant hero. But he survived the suicide attempt and was found by the ancient apocalypse who sought to create a world of survival of the fittest. He could see the potential in Angel's despair and offered him a chance for a new purpose. Apocalypse manipulated and brainwashed Angel, transforming him into one of the four horsemen, specifically 
specifically the Horseman of Death. Under Apocalypse's influence, Angel's physical appearance and powers were drastically altered. His wings were amputated and replaced with techno-organic wings made of living metal. These new wings were razor sharp and capable of cutting through almost anything. Angel's strength, speed and agility were also greatly enhanced, making him an invincible warrior. The techno-organic changes turned his skin blue and altered his personality to become colder and more ruthless as the terrifying Archangel. Why is Archangel blue? As discussed before, Warren Worthington's transformation from Angel to Archangel included a significant change in his physical appearance, particularly the colour of his skin. While Angel initially had Caucasian skin, his skin turned blue after undergoing the transformation orchestrated by Apocalypse. While the exact reason for the change in Warren's skin colour is not explicitly explained within the storyline, it is commonly understood that Apocalypse, being an ancient mutant with vast genetic manipulation abilities, altered Warren's genetic structure as part of his transformation. The blue skin of Archangel can be seen as a visual representation of the extent of the genetic modifications Warren underwent, distinguishing him from his previous appearance as Angel and emphasising his transformation into a darker, more powerful entity. The blue colour may symbolise the corruption of Warren's original self, signifying his connection to Apocalypse and his role as one of the Four Horsemen. In the Marvel Universe, mutants often experience physical changes or mutations that reflect their powers or psychological styles. State. Warren's blue skin serves as a visual cue, highlighting his altered nature and the darkness that now resides within him. It helps to visually communicate the internal struggles and conflicts he faces as he grapples with his new identity as Archangel and battles against his darker impulses. What is Archangel's second mutation? Does he have a healing ability? Archangel's second mutation granted him the ability to produce healing blood. This particular situation manifested after a battle with the villain Black Tom Cassidy, during which Angel's powers were neutralised by plant-based tentacles. In response to this trauma, his body underwent a transformation, reverting his blue skin tone back to his original appearance and triggering the emergence of a healing factor. Unlike his previous abilities, this healing factor allowed Angel to not only heal himself but also others. By sprinkling his blood on wounded individuals, he could accelerate their healing process and aid in their recovery. It was a significant development for Angel, as it provided him with a non-violent means of contributing to the X-Men's battles and ensuring the safety of his allies. This newfound healing ability was a crucial factor in Angel's character arc, offering him a different role within the team and a sense of hope that he could be a valuable asset without relying solely on his more aggressive Archangel form. While his healing factor is not sourced from any divine origins, it represents a remarkable adaptation in response to the traumas he experienced, showcasing the complexity of Angel's abilities and his journey as a superhero. In one story arc, it was shown that Archangel's secondary mutation allowed him to heal himself and others using his mutant blood, as long as the recipients shared his blood type. With his regenerative healing factor, Warren had the capacity to regrow damaged or destroyed tissue. This ability is not only a result of his secondary mutation, but also stems from his original mutations and the techno-organic virus contained within his metal wings. As a result, whenever his wings have been removed or damaged, new ones have always grown back in their place. Can he resurrect someone else? Archangel has been depicted as having the ability to resurrect others in certain storylines. This power set emerged after the Dark Angel saga in the X-Force series, where Warren's mind was wiped and he gained new powers from a celestial life seed. Following this event, Warren's new abilities allowed him to bring back the deceased. It began with resurrecting a dead dog in Wolverine and the X-Men issue 4. However, it is worth noting that these resurrection powers caused Warren to believe he was a literal angel which caused distress among the X-Men. Notably, his work with X-Force was not widely known among his fellow mutants. Angel's healing abilities and resurrection powers have varied in different story arcs, with subsequent writers often choosing to focus more on his Archangel persona and the darker aspects of his character. As a result, the full extent of his abilities as a resurrecting healer have not been extensively explored in recent years. While it's evident that Angel possesses the potential to resurrect others, the concept of a mutant capable of resurrecting provides an intriguing narrative opportunity and showcases his immense potential as a powerful resource for the X-Men. 
Does he have hollow bones? Ever wondered how a full-grown, six-foot-tall man manages to fly like a bird? Well, to narrow it down, one fascinating feature that sets Angel apart is his hollow bones, just like any bird's anatomy. This unique skeletal structure reduces his overall weight, making him lighter and more aerodynamic. It's like he got the secrets of avian flight built right into his very bones. But that's not all. Angel's wings are not your average pair of wings. They possess incredible strength, allowing allowing him to carry a load that exceeds three times his own body weight. And when it comes to manoeuvring through the air, his wings are incredibly flexible and can adjust to the tiniest changes in air currents, providing him with stability and control. Angel's entire body is adapted for flight, making him the true master of the skies. He has minimal body fat and a higher proportion of muscle mass compared to ordinary humans, alongside his unique eyesight, which is specifically designed to withstand the winds that would be harsh on average human eyes. To top it all off, Angel's respiratory system is equipped with a special membrane that allows him to extract oxygen efficiently even at high altitudes or speeds. It's like having a built-in oxygen boost to keep him going during his aerial adventures. Angel is the ultimate example of a true marvel of nature and mutation coming together. A combination of his hollow bones, super strong wings, and his body's natural adaptations for flight, they're what keep him soaring high in the skies. How much flight speed can he achieve? Angel, with his impressive winged abilities, can achieve remarkable flight speeds. In his normal form, his cruising speed averages around 70 miles per hour. That's 112 kilometers per hour. However, when he takes daring dives, he can reach incredible speeds of up to 180 miles per hour. That's 290 in kilometers. That's almost like a blur shooting through the sky. But that's not all. Angel's endurance is quite impressive, allowing him to maintain a speed of 150 miles per hour. 240 kilometers per hour for up to half an hour without getting too tired, and that is some seriously crazy stamina. However, when it comes to altitude, Angel prefers to fly below the clouds at around 6,500 feet, or 1,981 meters, although he can effortlessly soar up to 10,000 feet, that's 3,000 meters, if he wants to reach new heights. After his transformation into Archangel, he could achieve incredible velocities and speeds at lightning bolt speed, approaching even Mach 1, which is is the speed of sound. That's faster than the speediest of fighter jets. In fact, he effortlessly outpaced a fighter jet that travelled at speeds of Mach 2.35, that's 2,903 kilometers per hour. But the most mind-boggling feat is when he was seen flying above sea levels at an astonishing Mach 4.2, that's roughly 5,189 kilometers per hour. Just imagine angels streaking through the air faster than the eye can follow. You can't. He's like a supersonic superhero breaking all the boundaries of speed. Does he have hypersonic scream ability? Archangel, in his transformed state, gained the ability to unleash a powerful sonic attack through his vocal cords. This acoustic shrieking reached hypersonic levels capable of disorienting opponents and even causing internal damage. The devastating nature of his hypersonic scream made it a powerful weapon in battle, allowing Archangel to incapacitate enemies and gain a strategic advantage. This unique power added another layer to his already distinctively dominant arsenal, making him an even more dangerous adversary in combat. A glimpse of this was witnessed in the Apocalypse Wars story arc, where he unleashed his scream on the world like a mindless drone, specifically targeting the X-Men who were trying to restore him back into his reasonable form by stopping Clan Akaba from harvesting Warren Worthington's wings to create an army of mindless clones called Death Flight and finally undo Apocalypse's reign of destruction, sending them into a complete frenzy. How can his wings resist the missile strike or other attacks? Archangel's techno-organic wings possess razor-sharp edges which are highly affected as bladed weapons, capable of slicing through the toughest materials. The wings are suggested to have monomolecular sharpness, meaning their edges are extremely fine at a molecular level, enhancing their cutting power. In addition to their offensive capabilities, the wings also serve as shields to protect Archangel's body. Their metallic trans-organic composition grants them exceptional resistance 
resilience, allowing them to withstand various forms of attacks, including arrow barrages, bullet fire, and even missile strikes. The wings act as a barrier, absorbing and dispersing the force of impact, effectively shielding Archangel from harm. Furthermore, the wing shielding has demonstrated the ability to endure intense heat, such as flash flames, and resist powerful energy blasts. They have even withstood a bionuclear microwave blast unleashed by the mutant known as Holocaust, like seen in the uncanny X-Men Dark Saga story arc, where Archangel turned into the new apocalypse and took it on himself to reform the world. Here his wings showed immense power in aiding him, leading him to even believe that they must have had a mind of their own. When Nightcrawler unleashed his fiery inferno, Archangel used his wings as a shield to save himself and Betsy from the blast, without even letting the fire touch an inch of their skin. In the same storyline, multiple times we have seen Archangel keeps multi-purposing his wings and using them as either a weapon or a shield. What other things can he do with his techno-organic wings? I think we've successfully established that Archangel's techno-organic wings are no ordinary set of feathers. When Apocalypse got his hands on them, he bestowed Archangel with these cutting-edge wings as part of his transformation into the fearsome Horseman of Death. These bad boys pack a punch and bring a whole new level of coolness to the battlefield, launching feathered projectiles with the force of bullets and even slicing through steel like a hot knife through butter. But that's not all, folks. Archangel can turn himself into a living torpedo using his wings to propel himself with incredible speed, tearing through obstacles like they're made of tissue paper. In his high-flying rampage, those wing blades can be a hundred times sharper than your average razor, with edges that can cleave through diamond-like materials, slicing tempered steel and even split grown men in two. If that weren't enough, Archangel's feathers also carry a potent neurotoxin in the form of easily dischargeable flechettes. So, while trying to incapacitate his foes, he can unleash a barrage of poison poisonous plumage, leaving them completely paralysed. Later, when those razor wings shed, revealing a set of feathered wings underneath, it gives the appearance of a more organic form resembling somewhat to the old angel's wings. Now, when his supposed organic wings were lost again, the techno-organic wings made a triumphant return, bringing back his signature blue skin colour and leading his archangel abilities to resurface under immense stress, driving him to struggle to control his more aggressive side and making him unpredictable. During this time with the X-Force, he showed glimpses of his archangel self but still lacked full control, and later things went off the rails as he completely lost control over himself and later merged himself with his archangel persona, leading him to bring back his glorious wingspan. Does he have any love interests? Can he reproduce? Throughout Angel's journey, love has played a significant role with various romantic interests and relationships shaping his story. It began with his childhood friend Candace Candy Warren, who later became his girlfriend in life. Even though Warren harbored feelings for Jean Grey, he fell in love with Candy, revealing his secret identity and introducing her to Professor Xavier, making her an occasional ally to the X-Men. But things got really complicated after Warren joined the original X-Men alongside Cyclops, Beast, Iceman and Jean Grey herself. Angel developed a crush on Jean, adding a love triangle dynamic to the team. However, Jean never really reciprocated Warren's feelings and their connection remained one-sided. As the years went by, Warren's infatuation with Jean persisted, but when Jean returned from the Dark Phoenix saga to find Cyclops married to Madeline Pryor, she sought solace in Warren's company. Their closeness led to the end of his relationship with Candy Southern, allowing Warren and Jean to grow closer, even though the dynamic of their relationship remained complex and often unresolved. Warren's romantic entanglements further continued as he briefly dated Wanda, aka Scarlet Witch, and even Laura Kinney during, popularly known as X-23, a time displacement event. However, their romance ended off panel before Warren returned to his original timeline. Additionally, among his notable relationships, Warren also had a long-term romance with Psylocke. They faced ups and downs, ultimately breaking up when Psylocke developed feelings for Neil Shara. They later reconciled briefly as Psylocke helped Warren control his transformation into Archangel. However, their love story took another twist when Warren lost his memory after being resurrected, leading into another breakup. Later, he even had something intimate going on with Husk, so it's safe to say that there has not been a dull moment when it comes to Angel's love life. Coming to his ability to procreate, Archangel's ability to reproduce is an intriguing aspect of his story. During his time as the Horseman of Death under the influence of Apocalypse, he had a romantic relationship with Ichisumi, also known as Pestilence. They later 
conceived twins named Iman and Uriel, who were born in secret in Akaba city under the North Pole, where the clan Akaba and the horsemen fiercely protected them with their lives. However, their peaceful existence was disrupted when the notorious time-travelling antagonist Kang the Conqueror abducted the twins and brought them to a different reality, Earth 13044, where Iman and Uriel grew up in concentration camps, living in constant fear and distress. Is he immortal? At the end of the uncanny X-Men Dark Saga story arc, Archangel experienced a significant transformation and subsequent death. After becoming the Horseman of Death and being controlled by his chaotic killer persona, Warren gathered a death seed and used it to transform Psylocke into his own version of death. However, Betsy was freed from his control by Jean Grey from the Age of Apocalypse. In a desperate attempt to stop Archangel's reign, Jean Grey stabbed him with a celestial life seed, resulting in the death of both Archangel and Warren. Following his death, Warren was reborn as a new person with no memories of his past. Sent to the Jean Grey School for Higher Learning by Wolverine, Warren struggled with his new identity and believed himself to be a real angel. Despite his efforts to regain his memories, he remained disconnected from his previous life. Warren's behaviour led the board of directors at Worthington Industries to deem him mentally unfit, freezing his personal accounts and leaving the school without funding. During his time at the school, Warren attempted to fix Wolverine's damaged legs with a miraculous device but failed. This led him and a group of students to embark on a mission to retrieve the device from Planet Sin to help heal their headmaster. Despite Warren's belief in his angelic nature, he eventually came to accept his mutant identity after a failed attempt to fly to heaven. Warren's journey continued as he saved Earth and expressed his ability to see the essence of people. Although he saw the image of Apocalypse in Evan, he recognised the inherent goodness within him. Following the Dark Angel saga, it was revealed that Warren had indeed died and his soul departed for the afterlife. His celestial mutated body, now hosted a new personality and soul. Although the new Warren, who retained the same name and code name of Angel, made efforts to integrate himself, he had no memory of the original Warren's friends and acquaintances. Over time, he regained his memories and rejoined the X-Men, the Avengers and Nova in their ongoing struggles. While Warren has experienced death and resurrection, it's important to note that he's not inherently immortal. His transformations and resurrections have been the result of extraordinary circumstances, but he remains a mortal being, so subject to the same vulnerabilities and limitations as others. Conclusion Archangel's journey is a captivating one filled with various transformations, powers and significant relationships. From his initial transformation into the Horseman of Death by Apocalypse to his struggles with dual personas, Archangel has endured both physical and emotional trials adding layers of complexity to his character. Through triumphs and tragedies, Archangel continues to navigate the intricate web of his existence as a mutant, hero and conflicted individual. His anatomical intricacies are the epitome of mutant transformation and an official handbook on how it fuels his murderous intent as Archangel, triumphing his benevolent nature as Warren Worthington. With this, we come to the very end of this video. Do not forget to let us know in the comments below about your thoughts and opinions on this marvellous character.